Hey guys, so much 41 here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to use CMU, the Wii U emulator. Uh, if you've seen the website, you've probably already known that this uh, thing exists. But what you're going to do is come to cmu.info slash index, scroll down, download the latest version, which is 1.2 that came out about two weeks ago. After you download, you'll get these files inside of a RAR folder which you would extract and uh, inside here will be the keys folder or keys file which you will just replace the uh, common key with the key shown right here it will be in the description and this is your game key this won't be here by default but what you're going to do is after you download a, a Wii ISO, you can go in here and the NFO file you can open with and then choose Notepad and that's right here. This right here is the game key, the decryption code. And you'll just paste that on the second line below the console code and this this varies from game to game so one code won't work for every game but this code will work for every game so you're gonna go ahead and save that right here we have Mario Kart 8 and after you download one of these uh, ISOs uh, just extract the number one and you'll get this and this file extracts all of these simultaneously into one file so this file will be very large and uh, once you got the game code in there you can go ahead and launch CMU as uh, administrator go to file load and go to wherever you saved the, the ISO is to the extracted ISO and go ahead and run it since the sound in Mario Kart is copyrighted I'm gonna go ahead and mute it <clears throat> as you see it's loading uh, it takes quite a while to load since it is a early prototype of CMU but up here you can adjust your audio settings should I turn it down you can use your controller and click on the button and map your controller but the triggers do not work at the moment for Xbox uh, input so once you mapped out your controller you can go ahead and play your game. Let's see what's going on here. Sometimes it bugs out. There we go. I'm not going to cut this because of the people out there that will say it's fake or whatever, even though it doesn't really matter doing this for them. <clears throat> As you see the console is frames per second reliant. It locks the frames with the with the speed of the game's engine. So you, you're not going to be able to get the full experience out of the game until the emulator can run at a full 60 FPS constantly. Is it about to load in? Get this out of the way. Alright, 
as you see, we are loaded into the Mario Kart Stadium map. There are some graphical errors at the moment. This is 1.2.0. But this is this is full speed unedited. If someone tries to tell you this emulator runs at full speed with a bunch of games, they'd be lying. I've only heard of it working for only a handful of games. There's some Nice eyes. <clears throat> Two. At least you can get a fast head start because it's going in such slow motion. Well, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If it helped you, be sure to leave a thumbs up and. If you have any problems or want to suggest anything about my video, uh, go ahead and comment it, subscribe, whatever. Peace.